Hey guys, welcome back. This is a bonus lecture where we're gonna understand how to export a WAR file and how to deploy the WAR file directly into your web server. Now, whenever we work with Eclipse, for example, in here we have this Hello World project. And if we execute this particular project where we run this index.jsp file, let me run this on the web server and we will run it on tomcat 9 and the output would be definitely hello world now friends when we execute this particular web application this web application is deployed and run inside its own version of a web server means this tomcat is being executed by eclipse and this web application is being executed by eclipse in its own version of Tomcat. Now, there could be a situation that you would like to deploy your web application on the internet on a different web server and for doing so, we need a WAR file. Now, what is a WAR file? The extension is WAR and it stands for Web Application Archive. And for example, if we take this very simple example of this Hello World program, then we can export this web application as a WAR file. For doing so, we need to right click on the project and we need to export this project as a WAR file. And let me do that. And we can give any name. Let us keep the name as hello only. And we have this particular option as well. Optimize for a specific server runtime. If we check this option, then we can optimize this particular web project for these specific version of tomcats but we don't need it as if now we will uncheck this and the destination could be like desktop to start with and let us save this program and we will click on finish all right let me minimize this eclipse and here is the war file now friends do understand that as we know that when we execute this particular web application on eclipse eclipse run its own web server and if we don't stop this version of tomcat inside eclipse then there would be a conflict between this instance of tomcat and the tomcat which would be executed by windows so let me stop this tomcat instance and uh, let us also close eclipse now friends if you guys remember we have installed the tomcat service installer and if we install the service installer we have a console name as monitor tomcat if i search for tomcat we have this console for tomcat now the reason why there are two version of tomcat because we have installed version 8 as well as version 9 so let us go with first version which would be the version 8 and as if now the service status is stopped and we can start this service as soon as we start the service this tomcat will start and note that this particular version of tomcat has nothing to do with eclipse this is an independent instance of tomcat and now if i click and navigate to localhost 8080 then tomcat page will show up and this is tomcat 8 this is the version and we can easily see tomcat is up and running now if we would like to deploy this web application which is hello.war then we can do so which is pretty easy i will navigate to c drive which is my operating system drive then i will navigate to program files and in here we have this apache software foundation folder inside this folder we have tomcat 8 and tomcat 9 we have started tomcat 8 so let's navigate inside tomcat 8 now inside this particular folder we have this web apps folder inside this folder we simply need to paste this war file and as soon as we do this our work is done if i now navigate to tomcat and on the address bar i hit slash and then type in hello then our application will start executing somehow it is not executing properly let us see what's going wrong yes it's case sensitive i suppose it would be hello here we go so that's definitely case sensitive and uh, we have made that silly mistake 
so this is how we can deploy the web application and when i will navigate in here you will able to see that this particular war file is being extracted and inside this hello folder we have all these files now what is this war file this war file is nothing but a zip archive it's a zip file with an extension war and all the required files for the project inside this particular folder so this is very simple file so let me close this particular program the name of the project is hello and it is up and running so this is how we can like export the war file and this is how we can deploy the war file on the web server so i suppose you enjoyed the lecture and i suppose valuable information is conveyed to you guys if you guys enjoyed this lecture do read this course and give your reviews and honest reviews for the course i suppose i have made myself clear thank you for watching and have a nice day